Coconut Grove Art Festival 2023. It's been a beautiful Saturday and Sunday. We're just about ready to open on Monday and it's time to meet my neighbor. Just step back, see how things are looking. And here we come. Good morning. Presently, Jack. presently from Des Moines, Iowa. Oh, where's his sign? Got to get his sign. Robert Matthews. Rob Matthews. I am so excited to have been your neighbor this weekend. It's been so much fun. It has been. I mean, we've been good buds for quite a while, but to actually uh, it's hang so out together. It's so different. You really get to know somebody when you're right next door to them. You can know them. You for really years, do. But when you spend a weekend. Yeah, and it's sometimes it's not good. So, it's like, well, oh man, I thought that guy was kind of cool, but he's a real dickhead. <laughs> but not you. <laughs> you're the real deal. I'm just a dickhead. Period. Not a real dickhead. <laughs> not a real I'm one. A dickhead imposter. But before we talk anymore, I want to show people your work because uh, that's why we're here. It, yeah, it really appeals to me and. It's, it's appealed to a lot of people because Rob has just been moving it out of here this weekend, justifiably so. Um, tell me about it. This uh, Your current body of work is concrete and glass, correct? Correct. Okay. And has been for 28 years now. Wow. So. But it's, it's, it's changed form throughout those years. Yes. I mean, I remember you seeing things you were doing that was like garden things even. Yes. So. Started out making outdoor furniture with concrete. Okay. I started casting glass in the concrete. I have always been a glass artist. I dropped out of college because I had a thriving little glass studio. So I've always worked in glass my whole life. So that's been a constant. What hasn't been a constant uh, has been where you've been doing it. I mean, the stories Rob can tell, if you got enough time, which most of you may not live that long, I don't think or I will. Have heard them. I mean, it's... <laughs> You've lived in Long Island. You've 27 in... places. Holy mackerel. But well, you spent a lot of time in Hawaii. You had well, a I lived in, in my same home in California that I moved to Des Moines from for 20 years. Okay. That was my longest stretch. And you've been in Des Moines for what? Six, six seven years. And part of that move, that what precipitated that, as I recall, was you wanted to be a little more centrally located to do art shows, right? And exactly. And, and cost really of living's worse. okay. Cost of living's much less expensive than in California. Yeah. But the central location has just made such a difference. Like I used to do this show. I did this show 10 times. That's when I lived in California. And that's 10 days on the road. Yeah. And now it's two days. That's a lot of expense. So it's expense and it's time. And so. You know, it's really uh, kind of cool getting out and, and seeing our tribe and seeing how We've all kind of figured it out in our own way. You know, there's not a right answer for okay. anyone. No. And uh, sometimes <laughs> they're not right answers for us individually either, but it all seems to work out. Um, this week has been going great for you. It has. Actually, the last couple oh, of years have been going pretty They have. Pretty just cool. Kind of at the peak of my game. Yeah, that's right. awesome. Nice time to peak. A couple Timing of great is years. everything. Um, one of the things that has been a bit of a hallmark in your recent work are the houses. Is that something you're building on or not? I've, I've, anybody that's familiar with my work knows I've been doing houses for a pretty long time and I used to do independent sculptures and houses with my wife, with, Leslie. Okay, and yeah. And we just moved on from those. And this weekend I've probably had six requests for them. Yeah. I used to sell a lot of them at this show. They're bright. And bright well, they are striking. Colors. And, the one thing that I think is interesting, uh, and I'm, I'm interested to know how this works out, because the actual houses inside of these pieces, you know, they're, they have to get set up. And do people rearrange your houses, or do they I say... Used, I used to be very particular about how the colors yeah. were lined up, and I gave up on that a couple of years ago because people just pull them out and move them around. Okay. After the so you got started, over that. They'd be rearranged. Okay. So. All right. So here we are out on the street, just our, as our parents warned us we would be if we went into art. <laughs> and uh, having said that, 
What are some of your favorite parts about our art shows? About art shows? Yeah. This, the camaraderie. Yeah. Our tribe. Yeah. You know? um, I, people always ask me, customers, clients ask if I get tired of this lifestyle and, uh, and obviously wonder how long I can continue this. Yeah, we're in the same I, boat there. I can't imagine doing anything else. I would be two months at home. If I quote retired, I would be so horrifically bored. And I, you know, and people say, "Well, you could go travel." Well, well I just I you just know, drove sixteen hundred miles to get here, and I had a good time getting here. And... At forty-five years old, you got a <laughs> long road ahead of you, though. They've been a tough forty-five years, it would appear. It's been a tough forty-five <laughs> years. Yes, it has. Now, um, Actually, I'll be forty-six this year. <laughs> Oh, you're so much older than I am. <laughs> no, you're in your 30s. I'm so jealous. Well, the other thing uh, that, you know, we hear a lot about from artists is, um, like other art forms, performance art, this is our audience. I mean, when we're out here interacting with our collectors, there's some good juice in that. In some shows... The characters are more interesting than others. And I think this is probably pretty much the peak for that as far as who's walking by and yeah, who it's can the, come it's in the your human food. show for sure. You know, it's a, definitely across the spectrum here. Yeah. yeah. It is. And it's, and it's no uh, well it's I, I guess for those of you who don't know, Coconut Grove is uh, just on the south side of Miami. It's on Biscayne Bay. Uh, it's really a beautiful place for a show, but boy, there's a whole lot of go-go going on, isn't there? It's just, you know, there's this massive South and Central American influence here. And you kind of have to have some knowledge of Spanish now to yeah. go around in Miami. Just to know if they're jacking you around. Four, I've inquired, had a question for someone four or five times, and their response is, no habla inglés. Yeah. You know, even in a store, you can go in a 7-Eleven and the clerk won't speak any English. Well, just getting through the gate at the show. Yes. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, so I've been, yeah. I I'm always sorry. work on my Duolingo before I come down here. I'm still pretty inept, but, you know, at least I'm trying. And I think people appreciate that. Oh, they do. Of course. You know, we got one day to turn this uh, from a good show into an Absolutely. awesome show. Fantastic. Show. And uh, so let's, let's have our selfie see you later shot it has, been, has been great it's been a riot and it, it ain't over yet no it's not <laughs> okay. thanks thanks rob thanks for watching